twin buttes there and there. Well, we are at the Broken Arrow Trailhead, and it is a mess of people and cars. All right. Oop, hey. I think I want to take this use trail to go up on top of this mesa. It's called Battlement Mesa, I believe. Well, this is a little more primitive than I was expecting. There's definitely no trail. Um, it looks like I'm cutting up sort of this drainage and then bending to the left you see sort of a break in the cliffs um, I think that's where I'm going So my instinct was right. I shouldn't have stayed low. What look I had to climb up here or else I would have gotten cliffed out so I am just walking along sort of a ledge but we're gonna get up I assume we can't get up this head wall we're gonna have to get up right there is the plan so this battle in Mesa is cooler than I thought so we came up over there but the high point is several hundred feet higher so I believe it's right out here and then we're gonna have to drop down the other side but there are two targets for the day West Twin Butte East Twin Butte the east, I think, well, it's higher. I think it's a little tougher. There's some bushwhacky. There's a big chimney. You gotta go up. This is cool. Battlement Mesa. So we're gonna have to drop. I don't know where we drop off. <laughs> but this is the summit up here. Battlement Mesa, yeah. All right. So we got to drop, get up to that saddle, and then we'll go each way to our Twin Buttes. Great view of Capitol Butte there. These are good views from up here for sure. So um, I got to find a way down this, which I think just means dropping back where I climbed up and going around. And then going off this and there should be some sort of animal trail or use path up to that saddle so i'll check in i guess when i get up to the saddle all right so i hit the low point now i'm going up this should be pretty easy there's sort of a use trail i met some folks some of them or maybe all of them were from tucson four of them um one of them took my picture on top of the mesa and texted it to me so thank you for that if you watch this i'll put the picture I'll put the picture on the screen. Ah, well, we've done it. We've hit the saddle between our two targets here. I think I'm gonna do the higher one first. So the, the only bait I found was some guy, pretty helpful. You stay on the north side through these trees and you find like a chimney climbed up well, really just walked up, sort of hugging the cliffs. It's basically a dirt trail. Now I've hit the rock face. So the question is, do I go up here? Which I'm pretty sure I can cut right. Maybe a class four move there. I'm not worried about that. It's not exposed. Or do I continue over here and find a different crack? All right, so that first chimney, I could definitely get up. There's some other ones that look like you could get up. I've done my due diligence and walked around and I found a cairn, which is what I was hoping for, that I would find the actual route chimney. Um, so I am, this, this looks easy from before I look in it here. Oh yeah, this is easy peasy getting up here. Um, at least this first part. So this is an obvious way up the crack. So I'm gonna go up this way. Um, looks like just, you know, it's all, some of it's probably loose. So I gotta be careful. This could be a class four move, but uh, none of this looks hard, I guess is what I'm getting at. I don't wanna pull on any of these loose rocks. 
and I'm not the first in their footprints here, so I'm definitely on the on the route here. But I haven't hit the true chimney, which I think is coming up. I think the sand on here makes it, you gotta make sure you don't slip. So I'm just gonna continue to go up this crack. There's a chimney here or to the right, or I mean, this all seems pretty easy to be honest. So there was the chimney right on the other side of this, which looks easily climbable. But for no particular reason, I just popped over to the right here. And this also looks easily, this is just basic class three. I could cut there, I could just go right here. It, it honestly doesn't matter. This is all pretty trivial, except for maybe some loose rock here. My camera is getting hit. Handhold, please. Got it. Just make sure you got your hold so you don't slip. I got these stupid sharp plants. I need to reassess. I just need to get to a flat part. Yeah, it's pretty loose. Okay, so I think I wanna just continue up this crack, I think. All right, fair enough. So I'll check in higher up, I think. Oh, and while I went up here, when I got back to this crack, there are multiple cairns right here. So this is obviously the way I was gonna go up anyway. It seems like the obvious way up the mountain, but it does make me feel better that there are some cairns There's all sorts of ways you can step up this stuff. It honestly is not gonna matter. One bit. It is sandy though, so just be careful. I mean, I could have gone up either crack. I'm gonna go this way. It just seems a little steppier. But uh, yeah, honestly, it's not gonna matter. Just wanna make sure, see this stuff can break, so you just wanna be careful. A lot of this stuff is very, very loose. It's just very loose debris, so I'm probably just gonna continue this way. It seems like the easy route. So I should be up and then it should be an easy walk to the summit, I think. But knock on wood. We're just continuing up. A lot of loose, a lot of dirt and some rock that's like breaking. So again, just be careful. Although you can't really fall anywhere. This isn't exposed really. You just might go for a little slide. So I'm heading up and I wanna eventually bend back right, I think. And again, I don't have good shoes. If you have like actual approach shoes that are grippy on slick rock, that's what you would wanna use. I just have these Speed Cross 6, which are incredibly worn down, by the way. So, I could cut up here, I could walk around. I honestly don't think it matters. I'm probably almost there. So we've topped out. There's no line of sight. It's gonna be hard to find our way back. There are some cairns, but they're very random and sporadic. So, I'm doing it looks like I already got off trail. Doing some semblance of a bushwhack. Um, I wanna just go right up here. The summit's up there. So, yeah, however you wanna get there. I'm sorta of glad I have the pants on now. The man's an eat it's not too bad. But yeah, we'll be up in less than five minutes now. We only have another 100, 150 feet. Just depends how stuck I get in brush. So, headed up. Looks like we got a little rock now, which is a nice, nice respite from the bushwhacking. 
Well, is this the summit? I think it is. Yeah. This is East, East Twin Butte. I don't know what that is out there. I don't know what the names of a lot of formations are, but so we gotta drop all the way down, get up to that one. I think that one might have more climbing, even though it's a lot easier in general. Awesome view of Cathedral Rock, Bell Rock, Courthouse Butte, which hopefully I'll be on top of here in a couple hours. Um, so yeah, no one here. So as I suspected, I definitely got off track on the way back. Just you have no line of sight and there's no cairns in some places. So I am having to bushwhack, unfortunately. Luckily, it's not too bad, but I want to get over to like that point over there and then reassess. Um, so I don't want to cut too low and fall off the edge, but I definitely, I was on trail in the very beginning and then all of a sudden I was off it and just kept going with it, which usually isn't the best idea, but like I said, it's, uh, it's unmarked. Okay, so I think I found our gully down, but I came at it from this way, whereas I'm pretty sure I walked up that way, so. This is sort of what can happen with this type of stuff. Um, there's all sorts of different ways up and down. So I've continued to see cairns as I've gone down. So that's why I haven't retreated. Um, it's hard, all this stuff looks very similar. Um, so you gotta be careful. Definitely super steep coming down. All right, so since I was a little worried about the slippiness of that, I just I just went around. It was easy enough. Um, I mean, that would have been fine. I just trying to play it safe, guys. And we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, this is just so slick that your feet can go sliding right off of it. So just can't stress that you really got to be careful when you're stepping down stuff like this. Up is usually not a problem. Up is almost easier and faster, at least for me. But this, if I step on this rock, I'm going sliding. So we're almost back down here to get back to the saddle to go up. That actually looks more fun. All right, so we're back to our saddle i don't know exactly where we popped up it's very hard to see now but uh we're gonna head straight for west twin butte here and this is all exposed rock it looks like so i actually think this is gonna be more challenging all right so this without a doubt looks like it's gonna be the crux somewhere up in here so we're just gaining all these cliff bands so i'm trying to scat out the route Always a good idea to sketch out the route before. This is gonna to be too slippery or else I could go up that gully, but maybe I could traverse this white bench, but I sort of just wanna go straight up. So let's get to that tree, step up, then, I don't know. It's, you can't tell until you get up there. So, yeet. Okay, not too bad looking so far. Yeah. I'm saying just go up here. Though again, you step on some of this stuff, it could break. All right. So far, see, I wanna stay on rock. So I'm stepping over here. I can step on rock, get a better view. So yeah, we're just gonna go straight up the spine. Seems super easy so far. Big steps, Kevin. So this looks like great, great rock, great holds. I wouldn't call this class four. Call this class three. 
let's see. Make sure we have a good hold. This rock is very solid. All right. Should we wrap around? Should we just go straight up? What do you think? Looks a little overhanging. It is a little overhanging. Yeah, I mean, I could just pull myself up. However, I think I'm just gonna walk around this nice little gully looking thing. Yeah. That would be a, definitely a Kevin move over there with upper body strength. But this way is a little easier. Just get to show you this whole thing, I guess. Yeah, we're just, we're at home. So this was actually easier and a lot shorter. Should just be a class two walk up now. So I will, uh, I'll check in when I'm on the summit. That was a good little quick climb. We're still not quite there. I think it's, I think it's over here. I think. Man, we got a couple hundred yards to walk once we got up. Actually more than that. All right, I'm gonna call this, yeah. Summit. Ugh. Got him. All right. West. I already forgot the name of this thing. Twin Butte. West Twin Butte. Nice shadow there over Airport Mesa. I've never actually been on top of Airport Mesa. The view from up there was obviously better. The big boy. The trees are blocking right now. That guy. Um... But there's our next objective, Courthouse Butte. So if you want to see me climb that, I'm doing that right after this. Busy parking lot. Oh, there's the church over there. I meant to tell you that, the chapel, the Holy Cross. I meant to show you that when I was on top. I just wanted to show you the, I guess the crux section. Um, you definitely do not have to face the rock. Like the one guy said, it is a very easy step down, you know, but it is class three, so. I guess just be careful, but very easy to step down. No need for, uh, no need to actually climb down. It's not class five. I wouldn't even call it class four. So you just saw it, you saw it up, you saw it down. Clearly no need to face the rock. So I don't know what that was about, but uh, do what you need to do to feel secure. And uh, did I climb up this gully? I think I climbed right up the face, or did I climb up here? I forget sometimes. Yeah, I guess I did climb right up this, uh, right up these steps over here. So, let's make sure we don't slip on the sandy rock. Yeah, which is quite probable. Sandy, sandy. Yeah. More sand. Yeah. But yeah, this is just a nice, nice step down on nice. This is the one I stepped on right here that I said it looked like it could break and it does look like it could break. Um, but it held some of my weight, but I've weakened it for you all. So now it's gonna break. So last step off the white cliff band. Where are we gonna step off? Let's do it right here. Now I gotta figure out how to get down because I'm gonna go down a different trail than I came up. Um, all right. Ah! This is the most treacherous part of this climb. Yeah, the prickly pear. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go down, but I'm gonna take the actual trail so it should be easier and I won't have to climb up and over Battlement Mesa, but that was really cool. I really liked Battlement Mesa, so. This is a good hike to put on your list. Hopefully this raises some awareness. This will be the best, if not the only video, best by default uh, video on this out there, I think. Um, so yeah. Oh, one more cliff band. 
forgot we had to descend the same way off the saddle, so we're back. Yeah, and uh, I think I take this trail back. There are twin buttes. Um, cool, definitely a cool hike. I would do that again, I would take friends up there. So I uh, think this trail is gonna be convoluted. Instead of going up and over, it loops around. So I get some extra mileage and it should be pretty juggable. There's Battlement Mesa up there. And we're back. 